Oh, you guys are seeing this since the beginning. No setup, no anything. I'm just putting the camera right here, making sure that this is connected. And oh boy, oh boy. I was planning on doing a, a UCL draw thing. I was planning on like just going and thinking about that first, but no, 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 no. This team wanted to ruin my night. This team wanted to just do the one thing that we are so used to doing, doing the one thing. I haven't even put my light on. I'm using the freaking roof, uh, the, 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 the headlight instead of uh, the, the lamp that I usually use so you guys can see my face because I want to keep it as raw as possible. This team is pissing me off today and I hope this audio is good. Let me make sure that this is looking good for the game. Yes, Real Madrid won, Las Palmas won, and thank fuck it is a 1-1 because this could have easily been our first loss of the season and it would have been, it would have been, the it would have been, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It would have been deserved. It would have been deserved. You know why? Because Las Palmas played like they gave a shit. They play well. They were doing their thing. They were running. They were taking their chances. They were going against us. You know what Madrid wasn't doing? Playing football. Yes, they were kicking the ball. Yes, they were passing the ball around. Yes, they were doing their thing. Do you think I care? Do you think I care? I'm this close. I'm this close. I said it multiple times in my life. I'm this close. I'm giving the two more games. I'm giving the two more games. The, the game against Real Betis, which is on Sunday, the international break. And then the one against Real Sociedad. If we don't get our head of our asses, if Ancelotti doesn't fix that up, oh, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm acting up. I'm acting up. I'm going to go off. Because there's no reason whatsoever. I understand if it was the big teams, right? I understand if it was Real Sociedad, if it was Bilbao, if it was Barcelona, if it was Atletico Madrid. We're dropping points against Mallorca and Las Palmas, which I already said, those are the toughest games in La Liga, away from home. Those teams play for the one point. They don't care to win. They play for the one point because they know during the season, the mathing, mathing. They go for, hey, we're probably going to get zero points out of this. So if we can get anything, we'll take it. For, what, 60 minutes, Las Palmas was not only in the bonus. They were in Valhalla, my guy. They were with three points against Real Madrid when those math, when they add that up in the in the equation to see if they can stay up the league or if they can be above mid-table or anything, those two games against Barcelona and Real Madrid, it's a big fat zero. They go in things just like, hey, mathematically, we're probably not going to get points from this game, so we got to get them from uh, somewhere else. Or if we get a point, we, bro, we're going to play to get that one point. And guess what? For 60 minutes, they had three. And now they have one. They they go, bro, they're at home celebrating. The, the fans were insane. <sighs> bro, I'm crashing out in that sense. Uh, let me let me think. Let me think about the game. Courtois wasn't bad. If anything, Courtois is the only reason we, we, we're we not having a complete breakdown on social media from Madrid fans right now. Um, Lucas Vasquez wasn't bad. Militao wasn't bad. Rudiger wasn't bad. Like, legitimate. Legitimate. The defense, besides that one goal, it wasn't... It wasn't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't at any moment did I think was going to happen. Like, yes, the, the Las Palmas was running a lot. But at no point was I like, oh, like, here we go again. We're going to concede three goals. No, by by no means. No means. So, like, the defense, besides the goal, which is a big oopsie, um, I'm going to criticize them. A lot of people were trying to say that Militao played bad because the goal, you could argue that is his fault. But that's because Militao doesn't go out, so Rudiger has to go pressure. Militao takes his back, and then there's a hole in the middle, but, like, the goal doesn't really come out that way. But regardless, let's say that's his fault. whoop de doo I really, really don't give a fuck. I think the defense play as good as they could. The midfield, Valverde was everywhere. Schwameni was just doing Schwameni things. Modric, in my opinion, did not look too good. No, no one looked too good, but, like, Modric did not look too good. Vinicius was playing the way that Vinicius played last season, so I'm not going to complain, but I w it doesn't seem like it's gelling right now. Mbappe, it's, he's, sti it's, he's still in probation time. I'm not going to crash out because I've seen the stat that in his first three games with Madrid, he's taking 17 shots. So he's being aggressive. He's just not putting it on target or he's not scoring yet, but like he's doing his thing. Rodrigo came in. He did all right, but I Bro, Brahim, how do you go from, from one of our best players as a sub and gaining a reason, giving Ancelotti a reason to start you to then do this game? 
Arda Guler, they good. That penalty is 100% a penalty. I don't know what some people were trying to say on, on Twitter. They're just like, oh, my God, that's not a pen. Never a pen. Oh, my God. It is a pen. Bro, the guy is going down and he's... Uh, what's his, what's the name? The the hand that he's going to use to stabilize himself is not the one that Arda Guler hits. So it's 100% a pen. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Again, I'm not... I'm not there yet to like just start crashing out and telling everyone to be sold or Ancelotti out or anything. I'm not there yet. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm giving it those two games, like I said. But look in that game, I was disgusted because we're like Ancelotti is playing as if we still have Tony Kos. And it bothers me because Tony Kos was so good and it's making me miss him a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's making me miss Kos more than I should. Um, the the defense to midfield, midfield to to attack is our biggest downfall right now because midfield or defense to midfield is kind of there because the fullbacks attack and then they relay it to the midfield and then the midfield puts it somewhere. But then the 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 connection between the attack in the midfield is non-existing. Those deep balls that we used to have from cross, they're not happening at all. Nobody's doing that ball and nobody's going to do it because then again, Tony Kos is a special, special player that we no longer have. And I don't think there's a player like him in the world right now. So at that point, what do you do? What do you do? I think the 4-4-2 put shit. At one point, you got to think about putting Vinicius Mbappé, Hendrik, and, and Rodrigo all together and have Rod uh, Hendrik being the main guy and everyone else rotating around him. And this is where I said that we really, really were going to miss Jose Lu. Why? Because we got a number nine in Mbappé who uh, who's, can play all three positions. His best position is the left wing and we know it, but he's going to have to play striker because Vinicius' best position is left wing and he's a better left winger than Mbappé. But we, we got to make sure that, like, Someone stays in the middle and drags the defense back, which that was Jose Lu's bread and butter, and we let him go. And a lot of people were in my comments were saying, oh, well, Jose Lu was alone. What are you talking about? We literally bought him to sell him. Like, we didn't want to let him leave to Qatar or Saudi without being a, our player. So we literally bought him just to sell him later. Um, What else? What else can I say? Um, Is there any positives? Hendrik didn't look bad. He looks aggressive every time he goes in. Arda Guler looked good. He won the penalty. Um, Valverde, bro, I want him in my team all the time. Siempre mi equipo because that guy plays with heart and with balls. Uh, Courtois again was amazing. If it wasn't for him, we lose. And that's about it. <laughs> that fucking sucks. That's about it. But yeah, Real Madrid won. Las Palmas won. Props to Las Palmas, they did good. They 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 play well. But you guys let me know in the comments because I'm gonna go to sleep all pissed off now. <laughs> As always, a la Madrid. I'm still loving my team, but like god damn it stresses me out.